today we're going to talk about what is a diamond pattern. You hear about it occasionally when you're talking about engine turning. But what is the diamond pattern and how do you get the diamond pattern? Well, I was very lucky when I bought this 1930s Hall machine that the diamond pattern was already built in a set of rosettes. Now let's take a closer look at those rosettes and we'll see how the diamond pattern works. If you'll notice these rosettes here, there's something special about them. They're all one piece. These seven rosettes are all one piece. They come off as one assembly and they're not separate and then uh, dialed together. They're all one casting and they're machined like this. This one is blank. This one has one bump. Split by two, split by three, split by four, split by five, and split by six. In any one of these intervals, you can work to the front and then work back. And if you'll notice in the part that, I've, that I uh, did earlier, you'll notice that I only used the first four and then went back. If you were to use all of these, you would have a very long tapered diamond. Now, this is what I mean by the diamond. If you look at this right here, if you're only going to use the first three, you're getting one bump, one bump, and one bump. Then when you go to the next rosette, those next two rosettes split that one, and the next three split this one with just a little bit of tick on your uh, part and when you go one two three two one and these diamonds are somewhat close to each other that's the pattern that you see when you look at these old uh, watch parts because this makes a beautiful frame around any type of engine turning now let's take a closer look at the ship's wheel the ship's wheel works like this there's a fixture right here which is adjustable and when you turn that ship's wheel there's a detent in the front that hits this roller pushes the headstock over about a 32nd of an inch to an eighth of an inch then drops back down so your rubber touches the next rosette so it automatically feeds over and back over and back over and back and right now, I'm on the number five rosette. And then I work back. Then you work back, work back, and work all the way back to one. Now that would have completed the full five bump diamond pattern by just using the ship's wheel and the automatic advance. So that's really all it is, is a special set of rosettes to make that diamond pattern. Thanks for coming back to the Rose Engine Shop. We'll see you again.